welcome back in this tutorial we will learn about divide and measure command if you want to give divide from keyboard you will have to type div so div is the keyboard shortcut for divide command div enter and if you want to give it from ribbon then here is the divide command so for divide to use at first we will create one line then divide then select object to divide click on the object then enter the number of segment in how much segment you want to divide it suppose i want to divide it in five segment press enter now after dividing the dividing point are not visible to make them visible you will have to click on the arrow below the utilities and point style and select one of the point style then ok so here are the dividation point you can also use divide command to place blocks at equal intervals suppose i will create one block So to create the block, click on create, give the name, so I will say bulb, then base point, when this block will be inserted, with which base point it will be inserted, that is the base point, then select the object, enter, ok, so block is created. Then again click on divide, select object to divide, then click on block, give the name of the block is bulb, enter, then align the blocks, yes, enter, number of segment, 7, enter. So at that interval a block will be placed and if uh, I want to place it on a spline, some spline is there and again click on divide select the object ok divide select the object to divide and number of uh, click again on block then enter the name of the block bulb enter then align with object if I say no here enter the number, number of segment for you enter so it will not align with the spline so it will keep that block as it is and we will try one with the align option also so you will understand the difference so again click on divide select object to divide enter number of, uh, click on block then name of the block enter so I want to align with block yes y is there enter then enter the number of segment 5 so here you can see that it has been aligned properly so it is al always always maintaining this point in between the object so in this case it was keeping it as it is but in this case it has rotated a bit to align with the spline object so in this way you can use this divide command you can use divide command to on arc also suppose if you have some arc and again divide select object number of segment fine so it will place the point on arc or arc circle spline polyline anything on any object you can use it and same way the next command is measure so measure is useful to place the point at specified distance so this we will create a line object again click on measure 
then select object to measure then specify the length at what length you want the point suppose I want the point at the length of 3 so it will place the point at a distance we specified then same way uh, in measure also you can also place the blocks too suppose I want to place block using measure so click on measure and select the object then block give the name ok name is wrong well, enter then align the block yes then length of the segment 3 enter so it will place also the block at a specified distance so in this way you can you can use divide and measure so thanks for watching we will stop